Next up, Jackie Ford. Jackie, come and tell us a story. Jackie! Sometimes I look back on raising my kids and I think parenting is really like one long test, right? The kids are always testing you. They're testing the boundaries, the limits, testing whether you really love them. Uh, and you're testing yourself. And a lot of times you don't know if you did the right thing under that test. You might not know for years and years down the line. And I was recently reminded of this with something involving my daughter, uh, Lydia. Uh, when she was five, she was starting kindergarten in the fall, and I was eight or more months pregnant with her little sister. I was hugely pregnant. I was like, you know, poke a pin in me, throw me on a burning building, I could put out the fire. I was very, I was very, very big. Anyway, and uh, so it was, a, it was a time of transition, and she was transitioning from this very, you know, warm, nurturing little preschool in the neighborhood to getting on a big yellow bus in the mornings at took her with a bunch of loud, rowdy kids to a, a, a public, urban uh, kindergarten on the other side of town. So there, there was a lot going on. So the routine when she started school was the same every morning. I would get her her breakfast, sit her in front of the TV for a few minutes. She was really into Lady and the Tramp at the time. Right? Every day she'd watch it. I don't know, maybe there's some nuance on the 35th viewing or something. I don't know. But <laughs> kids love to do that. But anyway, she'd watch her movie for a few minutes. I'd leave, go to my law office. And a little while later, her dad would walk her down to the bus stop, and she'd get on the bus. And this went fine the first few days. But then her dad told me one night, hey, Lydia wouldn't get on the bus this morning. Like, what do you mean wouldn't get on the bus? He goes, no, she wouldn't get on the bus. She threw a huge fit like she was terrified, and she wouldn't get on the bus. And she wasn't one to throw tantrums and stuff, so this was really weird. And I said, what'd you do? And he said, I just put her in the car and drove her to school. I go, well, school is that way, and your job is that way, so... You must have been late to work. Yeah, I was. Well, the next day, same thing. And the next day, and the next day. And he keeps driving her every day. And I said, Bob, you can't do this indefinitely. He said, oh, this poor little child. You know, she needs to be nurtured and supported. I said, you know what? If this was a male child, you would not be saying that. And I am not raising a wimp. The world is tough for girls. And, and I'm not having this. You know, this needs to come to an end. Thank you. So he kept doing it, though. Well, finally, on the next Friday, I said, I think I'll stay home this morning. Maybe, you know, work from home. Oh, what do you know, Lydia? Let's get you up from Lady and the Tramp, and I'll walk you to the bus stop. Of course, Bob's immediately suspicious. And I said, no, it'll be fine. <laughs> so I wobble down, you know. I'm just a couple weeks away from the baby now. When I walk down to the, the bus stop, and she's her usual happy-go-lucky self until that bus arrives, and she starts panicking. And she's grabbing onto me, Mommy, don't make me. So I leaned down and I said, Honey, you've got to tell me. You've got to tell me. Did someone hurt you on the bus? No. Was someone mean to you on the bus? No. Did someone touch you on the bus? No. Then you have to tell me. Why won't you get on the bus? I, I don't like the color of the bus. <laughs> so I leaned way down, got right at her eye level, and I just said, Get on the bus. She screams. I call the bus driver down. I said, look at me. I can't lift her. You're going to have to do it. So we lift her out of there. She's crying. I'm crying. The other moms are looking at me like, I am Attila the Hun, right? <laughs> I get her on the bus, and life goes on. So Sunday night, we sit down, the three of us on the couch. Bob's still mad at me. And I said, honey, you have got to tell us, what are you so afraid of on that bus? You know you have to ride the bus tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Well, what is it? Well, well, it's just like Lady and the Tramp. When the baby moves in, the dog moves out. I said, do you think that when the baby comes, we're going to put you on that bus and you're never going to come home? Why would you think that? Well, that's what the kids at school said. I said, what? She said, well, when the baby comes, they said, I won't get any more attention. I said, what does attention mean? I don't know. I said, do you think that means love? Like you won't get any more love? Yeah. I said, well, honey, when a baby comes, we don't get less love, we get more. There's just more love comes into the house. There's more for everybody. So it's, it's going to be okay. Don't be afraid. And the next morning, she got on the bus. Now, fast forward 22 years later. She is now about to graduate with honors from law school. Thank you. 
And she posted something on Facebook a couple weeks ago. She had won a, a contest in law school, and she just said, look, you know, everything that I have, you know, I, I really, and all that I've achieved, I really owe to my family and friends. Thank you so much, especially for my family, for all your support. And her little sister, who's now 22, and has grown up hearing this story, she posted back on Facebook, Lydia, face it, none of this wouldn't, would have happened if mom hadn't made you get on the bus. Thank you.